This is Robert Bornstein from Robert's Tropical Paradise Garden, and today we're going to talk about orchids. And this particular one is a Phalaenopsis. And the reason we grow the orchids is for the gorgeous flowers. And this is called a spray. And on this particular plant we have two of them, and they're just cascading down beautifully. So I'm going to put this over here. That's why we grow them. But most of the year, they look like this and like this. This is a dendrobium and this is a phalaenopsis. And these are the three that do the best inside where you can grow them. Now in my jungle, I grow them outside. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take these clips off and we're going to show you how to transplant it into a bigger pot. Since it's not blooming, we're going to transplant it. So the first step is to take off the clip. The second step is we have to loosen up these roots. They're all really, really tight in there. So we're going to use this knife to uh, maneuver them. See, what's funny about this orchid, it grew, it started in the inside, but then it grew towards the outside. So we're going to remove it from the side and put it in this big pot. The first thing we're going to do here is take some of this lava rock, put them in the bottom, and then we're going to put this uh, potting soil. It's not really potting soil, it's a growing media for orchids. It's a combination of pine bark, there's the pine bark, some styrofoam, and charcoal. You want a well-drained mix because orchids in their native countries grew um, on the crotches of trees, the epiphytes. So you want it very well drained. Now what we're going to do is remove this dead stuff too. Anything that's dead, we're going to cut off. That, this, but I don't want to cut off the good one. You have to really take your time and really do it just right. So, we're going to remove this now, like so. Now they also recommend trimming the roots the dead stuff. This is all dead. If it's dead, it comes right off. A healthy root is one that's thick like this and white or lighter color. So we have to also prune off this dead stuff, but we don't want to remove the good stuff. Carefully remove that. You feel it. If it's turgid, you leave it. If it's dried out, you remove it. No sense keeping a lot of dead roots around. Now orchids only bloom about once a year, so most of the year you just have the, the plain leaves. But if you nurture it, give it a lot of tender loving care all year, you are rewarded with beautiful blooms the next year. Okay. Now I could do this a little more, but for the sake of time, we're going to plant it right now. So, we're going to take this over here, whoop, add a little more soil, not soil, growing media. There we go. Make a little hole in the center. Stick this kind of like that. Looks better already, doesn't it? Then we're going to add this. Now, for this first planting, I like to soak it in some uh, hormones and miracle Grow for an hour or so, and then hang it up on a tree. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add some fertilizer to the water, liquid fertilizer. We're going to soak the plant for about an hour and that'll really help get it started. So we're going to take the plant. It's great to use these old pots. Come in good for handy for a reason. And then we're also going to just water the top a little. Water the leaves and let all that soak. The roots were very dry because they were exposed on the outside of the pot. So that's basically how to transplant an orchid. And then, once it's done soaking, we're going to put this special hanger 
back around it and then hang it back around the tree and then it's all ready to thrive again. We also can cut these off because these are dead. These are old flower spikes. So thanks for coming to Robert's Tropical Paradise Garden and see you next time.